welcome back to the channel as y'all can probably see I've been out shopping <laughs> I don't know why I needed it but I know I did I don't know what I needed for but I do <laughs> I went to Hobby Lobby and Dollar Tree so let's do Dollar Tree first and show y'all what I got now y'all I'm really traditional when it comes to holiday themes like Christmas it's red and green, um, Thanksgiving, orange, brown, some yellows, stuff like that. But this fall sign right here, usually I stay away from like the different blues for fall and Christmas. But this was so pretty, I couldn't help myself. It says fall, sweet fall, and it's like a blue and white pumpkin. This will be great for the centerpiece for a wreath, and I'm going to use it for that. Also, I picked up some floral. Um, I'm going to tell y'all about the project I'm going to do today. And I needed some floral. Also, I picked up a few more signs. Welcome to our pumpkin patch. I really like this one. And also, it's almost that time again, football season. My heart is on the field. So this one right here is good for any time of year. You know, if you have a, a wreath with this sign on it, it's good to hang up any time of year. It's not specifically fall. I've seen some of these that had uh, when fall starts, see, football starts, something like that. But I wanted one that's more generic. And here's the receipt. I've been looking for this. But these are the few things that I picked up at Dollar Tree and I'm going to be making a wreath out of this one first so pretty and next I went to Hobby Lobby and I picked up one of these this was two dollars this is a um, just a cardboard for a t-shirt I'm going to embroider my husband and myself a t-shirt and I needed something to go, you know, basically the t-shirt to be on so I can measure, you know, where I want to put the uh, embroidery at. And the first time I tried to embroider, I didn't have this and it was a mess. And the second time it was a mess. And the third time it was a mess. So now I have this, I'll be able to outline where I want it on the uh, shirt with one of my um, you know invisible markers you trace on it and then it'll go away uh, but I also I have to look at some videos I can embroider patches and on you know heavy duty thick materials that's no problem but trying to do it on the t-shirt is so cottony and elastic -y and soft it doesn't come out right so I have different backings but I need to figure out which one to put on there and test it out. These right here, these are good if you're making uh, if you're making a wreath where there's no backing on it, and you need you know to add something to hang over so you can attach zip ties or Chanel stems. I mean, or Chanel stems. This would be good to cut and add to it, so you'll be able to you know, go outwards or below or something like that. This basket is messing up my life. Okay, that's, that's better. So I grabbed a few of these on clearance. I didn't know anything about these until I was watching a wreath video. And they were saying, you know, uh, there's some circle ones that you can add to the center um, of those little, I think, 8-inch round wreath frames to make the petals. They add one of some of this to the center of it so you can go down when you're attaching your zip ties and pedals and all that good stuff. I'll show y'all if I ever muster up the nerve to <laughs> make my flower petal wreath because I have to use some of these in the center but I got some of these on clearance normally $2.49 they were half off $1.24 these are these are two packs so I grabbed like three of these I believe yeah and I also grabbed this this was $1.39 these are already cut down, little hexagon ones. And also, 
all on clearance at Hobby Lobby. Buttons. Now, I wanted to make me some more tote bags, and I wanted to have actual buttons instead of the snap ones. So, these buttons were on clearance. Normally, $7.99 on clearance were $1.99. So, different shades of brown buttons. Big, small, all sizes. Y'all... <laughs> I'm addicted to the clearance aisle. I don't know why I needed these knitters because I can't even knit, but I needed them. <laughs> Some jumbo ones. Because I've always wanted to be able to hand knit. I've tried. I've watched videos. It just doesn't click with me. So I'm thinking maybe if I give it another go, I'll be able to use these to knit something big. Maybe a blanket, a chunky blanket or something. The only knitting that I know how to do is I know how to loom knit. You give me a loom, I can make some hats, I can make some scarves, I can do some things. You tell me, hey, here's some big chunky yarn, make something happen, I can hand knit. When it comes to these little sticks, it just does not click. So I'm going to try it with the big ones and see if maybe I can knit a chunky one. But if I can't sort it out, $1.62. And I will hand knit something in a minute. These, I needed these for the wreath that I'm going to make. I didn't realize until I got up to the register. It was a little messed up on the sides there. But it won't matter the way I uh, put the floral and, you know, add stuff to it. But these were $1.24. And then these, like I needed some more. <laughs> these are checkered burlap. These are on clearance. They're the five and a half by 15 foot. They're on clearance for $3, normally $11.99 at Hobby Lobby. I grabbed three of the black and white, and then I grabbed three of the red checkered. These would be really good for the holidays. Usually I use the checkered buffalo print for holiday wreaths and uh, decor, so. I have these, and then also the t-shirts. So just some solid black t-shirts 30% off but let me go ahead and put this stuff up and then I'm going to tell y'all about the project that I'm going to do today y'all before I forget these baskets here let me grab one are on clearance at Hobby Lobby for a dollar they're normally like $29.99 but there's some issues some of them are cracked or you know a little broken and all that but I picked some of the best ones like see right here it's a little messed up but I picked some of the best ones all I cared about that there was no holes in it and that the handles were good um, some broken pieces around the bands and all this and that fine by me but I grabbed seven of them a dollar each they're normally $29.99 so I happily grabbed some. I saw them before, but before they were all jacked up. So I was like, no. But this match here, really good for a buck each. And I will be using them to put my meshes in. much better I got my little handles here so put that right there okay now what I'm planning to do is I'm going to make another cross wreath now I have made one for my grandmother for Mother's Day my mom and my aunt took it to her gravesite and it was blue and white I showed the video um, on how I made it I'll link it up there <laughs> but my aunt was like it's really pretty I like it but I want a pink one so I decided to make an outdoor pink one that one I used the deco mesh um, you know, the real soft one, you know, like this one, the soft one. Just regular. This is the poly mesh. 
this is more like weather resistant and since it's going to be you know outside in the elements i wanted to make one for her birthday now her birthday is october 23rd so i wanted to make another wreath one um another cross wreath frame and i was going to do the pink one all the petals on it uh were going to be pink and i was going to put like a pink floral arrangement in the center and some little dubs that I just got um, I'm gonna make sure that's covered up on it but it will be going outside on her grave site uh, probably up until the holidays when they go back out there uh, they might leave it there I'm not sure depending on how it holds up but I'm going to make another cross one and the first thing I'm gonna do I'm gonna use my heat gun I'm not gonna cut it because I don't want any fray or as little as possible and when I cut this there will be fray so I'm gonna use my heat gun and I'm gonna cut out um, 10 inch squares and I'm gonna show y'all how I make my petals for uh, the wreath frame I need to go get my little zip ties I got some uh, I think six inch or eight inch zip ties that I'm gonna use and I'm not sure how many petals I'm going to put on it, but I'm going to, you know, put them all here to see what it's looking like, and then I'm going to um, let y'all know how many petals I'm going to cut for the entire thing, so let me grab my zip ties, and I'll be right back. Okay, everybody, I cleaned up my edges some here. My wood burner wasn't that hot, but it will be okay. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to start off with 16 petals. So what I'm going to do is cut my poly mesh 10 by 10. I'm going to cut 16 pieces. And I'm going to be using my wood burner. So one thing you must remember is you cannot put this on your cutting mat you will ruin it so I'm going to do it this way so what I'm going to do is just edge that up and then it's going to cut 16 pieces now the smoke is smoking a little bit I got my fan right behind me pushing it over Y'all might want to put a mask on or a ventilated area, but I'm not going to be doing that. So. And here's one piece right here. And I'm hoping I have enough to make 16. And then the next one. And I'm just going to do this for all, all 16 pieces. So I'm going to go ahead and zoom through this and I'll be back and I'm done. pieces y'all now y'all my little zip ties over here I should have grabbed some that were a little bit bigger these here that I have they are I think four inch yeah four inch one more piece here and I'm hoping I don't have issues grabbing them like I did before I feel like I should have grabbed the six inch ones but I don't think I, they had any because I was looking for some that were a little bit bigger and I could not find them so this piece I just messed up this is like eight inches and the rest of them are ten so let me go ahead and cut this little piece off here and toss it 
See y'all, I can't multitask for nothing. First time I start talking, I mess up. Okay, let's try this one more time. Eight inches. No, 10 inches, yay. Okay, 10 inches right here. There. So, this is my last piece. If I want it a little bit fuller, I'm going to cut a few more and add them. But for right now, I'm just going to start with 16. And here we go. Now I am done with this. I can cut off my wood burner here. Let it cool down. And this is super hot. I put my stone right there so it doesn't slide off. So I don't want to burn myself because this thing is hot. So I'm going to put this to the side for right now. And I'm done with my cutter for right now. So I'm going to zoom in. And I'm going to make them just like that. So, let me go ahead and attach this one. So, let me go ahead and zoom in. Okay, everybody. Here it is. This is the first one. And I'm just to finish up. Let me snip this. But this is how it's looking. And I'm going to go all the way up. And I'm going to make... I'm going to put about seven on this all the way up. I'm going to do seven from the bottom here all the way up to here. And then I'm going to do three here, three here, and then three at the top. And see how that looks. So let me go ahead. and make me some more of my little petals. So all I do is I, this is a 10 by 10 square and I fold it in half and then I scrunch it up and then fold it down like so. And then I add my little zip tie. Now, if y'all want to use some bigger zip ties, you can, but all I have is these little four inch ones, and I don't want to use my eight inch ones on here, so. So, you can just slide it up or down any way you want it, but that's why. That's how I'm doing it, so. My biggest thing is just to cover this up with the next one above it. So let me go ahead and zip through this and I'm going to show y'all what it's looking like once I get up to the top here. I must say, 
I'm not liking this at all. Let me go ahead and heat up my heat gun because I'm going to need a few more pieces. But This is not coming out the way I want it, y'all. It's not. I'm going to see if they like it. If they like it, you know, uh, you know, I'll give it to them to take to a grave site, but I'm not. Let me finish it up and then I'm going to show y'all what it's looking like. Okay, so now y'all, I'm going to add some floral. This isn't the look I was looking for, but I'm going to see if they like it. If they like it, we're going to roll with it. If they don't, then I'll do something with it. So let's see what kind of floral. Okay, everybody, and here's the finished product. I don't like it even a little bit, but it's finished. Let me put it on the wall and try to spruce it up and give y'all a better view. Okay, everybody, and here's the finished product. I didn't want to add any, you know, just greetery in it. I prefer flowers, so here's a close-up.
I don't like it, but tell me what y'all think. I'm not, I'm not feeling this, but I'm going to see what my family thinks. If they want to keep it, you know, I'll drop it off over there, but this did not turn out how I wanted. Um, I checked out Julie's Reef Boutique channel and saw how she made one and mine's look nothing like hers so I'm gonna go back and I'm gonna try this again on a different reef uh, I know I'm gonna use the petal um, I have to show y'all in a different video the petals for my uh, pumpkin wreaths that I make for the fall on the pumpkin frames I thought about making those petals for this one but then I saw her video and I'm like okay that's pretty let me try that and maybe because it isn't as neat and uniform as I want it because I don't know it's just not but it's uh, not that much fray on it because I use my wood burner but tell me what y'all think I'm not loving this one but if y'all have any comments or questions drop them below please subscribe turn on that notification bell I know shameless plug and I'll talk to y'all later bye